Um, so this series has had a somewhat of an unlikely rise in popularity. Did you ever foresee this continuing as a series when you first started? Gosh, when I first started, I mean, this was a very low-budget, small movie with a first-time director and a bunch of actors who'd never done action before. So I think we all really believed in the idea of it, but, you know, we didn't know how it would actually come out. And I think once we saw it, you know, everybody was very excited, but it has kind of taken on a much more of a life than maybe anybody expected. This has opened you up to a whole new rabid fan base of genre fans. <coughs> yeah. Have you gotten used to that? And what's your take on this crowd so far? I have never had fans who wear my costume before. You know, <laughs> it's, it's a different thing. You know. So they don't rush after me in the street in the outfit, but I've Not seen yet. them in comic book conventions and stuff, and it's pretty wild. Uh, what was the prep like in comparison to the first film as far as the training was involved? It seemed so easy. I had such a long way to go on the first one because I'd literally only done, you know, taken ballet lessons. That was about as far as I got in terms of action. Right. Um, so they really had to teach me how to run, like a, not like a girl, you know, and hold a gun and all that. So that was all done. But it was really, you know, working on the specific wire stunts and um, all the fight choreography and all of that. So it was there was a lot of it, but it wasn't quite as terrifying to me as it was the first time. Right. You got a much bigger budget this time and uh, yeah. much more elaborate effects. Was it a different atmosphere on set? Was it taking a lot longer to get prepared for these no, scenes? No, I mean, I think work and it was like a that? bigger budget, but you know, I think the, the you know certainly the lens vision increases with the budget, so it feels kind of just the same kind of scramble. There's never enough money. There's never enough time. It's always the same story, however big the movie. And I've done some big ones. It's always like that on those. Um, but you know, it was it was it was very nice to actually have a chance to to do a fight sequence properly rather than you know have people dragged around on pieces of carpet and stuff <laughs> like that we had last time. You take a real rise in some of the intense action sequences you do in this. Was there any close calls on set? Um, we, you know, we hurt ourselves a bunch. I mean, I think that's the nice thing that actors like to kind of show each other their bruises and see who worked hard <laughs> and all that. And um, I, I had a terrible. I burst into tears one day, so I actually punched one of my favorite stuntmen full in the face by accident during a fight scene, and that really upset me. It's one thing <laughs> pretending to hit somebody, but right. then when you actually hit somebody you really like, it's very upsetting. <laughs> I don't know how the boxers do it. So what was the toughest sequence, which turned out to be the trickiest, or required the most takes? Um, gosh, there was a few. That one of the, uh, there was a scene where I sit down in a tunnel and I've got werewolves charging at me and, you know, stabbing them. That that scene, I felt like I was in that tunnel for about two years. That that took a really long time. But uh, the love scene was hard going for Scott. Right. <laughs> I didn't enjoy that. At all. That's, yeah. <laughs> so where do you see the character going from here? Do you are you already thinking about a sequel? I don't know. I mean, I think sequel? originally that you know, Lan and Danny conceived three movies and you know I don't know whether you know whether we'll do another one or not I know Len would like to do a movie where he doesn't have furry wolfy creatures first right. you know and, right. and uh, you know and this is a lovely thing for me to do but it's not kind of like my thing you know, right. so much so it's it, it was great to test myself out but I don't know whether I want to do like eight of them or not Right. Has Len given you any, any talk so far on where you would see the character going? I think that originally when they were talking about it, it was going to be a prequel. I'm not sure whether they ever planned okay. on Celine even being in it, so it may happen and I haven't been a vampire yet, so who knows? <laughs> well, real quick last question, I just want to ask about the character you play in Click. I know right. that's the next thing you have coming up. Yeah, I play, um, Adam Sandler plays a, a very workaholic architect and I'm his wife who he's rather neglecting with his kids and um, I think that's going to be a really funny movie. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Appreciate it. Some history is based on truth. Some on lies. The war between vampire and lichen has raged for centuries. I was a loyal soldier in that battle, but I was betrayed, and now my own kind have turned against me. Yet I alone hold the key to saving our future. Immortal has returned. Marcus is the one, the first true vampire. He was exiled over 300 years ago. What makes you think we're gonna find him now? I was the one who exiled him. Vowing to release an unimaginable evil. There is only one way to defeat him find the girl, bring her to me. One stands between their rise. You know the devastation he caused before he was captured. 
at the destruction of all mankind. Soon you'll be drowning in lichens. Not lichens, or vampires. A new race, created in the image of their maker. Me. You're no match for him. Well, we're gonna have to work on that. Tell me about uh, evolving the look of your character for this film. You obviously get quite a different look in this one. Yeah, that was cool. I mean, we we were pretty, me and Lynn, I mean, we were pretty terrified about how that was going to be because we did a makeup, prosthetic makeup test the first day when I when I got there, and it was just, it wasn't good. I mean, it was too oh, wolfy. Okay. It was like, it looked like, I don't know, a big hairy guy. It, was, it looked like Wolfman, basically, yeah. you know, Wolfman Jack. <laughs> So we got it down to something that he really liked. I mean, it was much, he wanted it to be less human looking. I right. think people complained in the first one it looked a little too much human. Right. It didn't look like a hybrid of a werewolf vampire. So that was what we did. I thought it was pretty cool. I liked yeah. it. I visited Patrick Topolis' studio a few weeks ago. He's pretty and, intense. Uh, yeah, I love that guy. Some of the stuff, I mean, it was frightening looking, just seeing it sitting there on a table. Yeah, the most frightening thing boring. about doing that is doing the head cast and body cast, yeah. where you get the stuff poured all over you, and <laughs> you have, like, breathing hole out of here. I actually passed out the first time I did that. Really? Yeah, I fell over. Jeez. I was really hungover, though. <laughs> and I was on this thing. <laughs> Adds I was, to it, right? It was, it was terrible. It was how really much, embarrassing. How much time was spent in makeup, both getting on and taking off? Well, combined, taking, getting on and taking it off, like Well, just as opposed to, it was about five for both? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't that bad. I mean, we'd have beers at the end of the day, getting the makeup off after, right. like, two in the morning. and <laughs> That's the fun part. You put on great tunes, you're done, you're right. out of the thing. I mean, it's, it's kind of a fun process. Yeah, there's times when it sucks, but most of the time, it's, it's pretty fun. So how about the physical preparation for the film, as far as getting ready to have all this on and do all the... It seems like you've got a little more quite a bit more physical moments in this film than the first. Yeah, um, I'd say a lot more, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know, I got, I was able to get up to Vancouver pretty early, um, like four or five weeks early, um, work with the stunt team up there, and really kind of hone in what I was doing. And I don't know, for whatever reason, it's the same guys as the first one uh, uh, as on this one, and I'm able to work into that stuff pretty quickly. And You know, if you stay loose, they kind of handle most of it for you. Like, if you're flipping over, Doing like a jump where you flip over. Right. They're doing it. You know, it's not like you got to be Michael Jordan to be good at it. You just kind of like go for the ride. Right. You know? right. It's not that crazy. So was there a particular scene that was tricky or difficult? The or truck any, any sequence. Any injuries or anything like the that? The truck sequence near, the, you know, right in the middle where I'm fighting Marcus. Right. That was pretty intense to shoot. I mean, that took a long time. That was tedious. And I got hit in the face too many times. For that. <laughs> He's Tony Coran. He's a wild swinger. Man. Yeah. He'll just swing right at you. It's pretty intense battles. Yeah, that was good, though. Yeah, that was great. Well, he out. couldn't see, so it was okay. <laughs> so. Could you see pretty well most yeah, of the time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't. He, they were bothering his eyes really badly. Right. But they, those, the contacts didn't bother my eyes. But tell me a little bit about working with Kate for the second one and getting together, and, you know, obviously the relationship evolves in the movie. What sort of prep did you guys do to, to get prepared for the way your relationship was going to go in this one? Well, not for dinner, you know. <laughs> <laughs> usual stuff. It's usual stuff. I mean, yeah. you don't, I mean, we're good friends, and we get along so well that this kind of bleeds over into the film and I mean it's tough I mean you know you're doing scenes where you're talking about bloodlines and vampires and werewolves so you, the biggest challenge is to try not to giggle during it a lot of times right. and like taking <laughs> it seriously and getting into it and after the first couple of days it was it was great it was easy so are you up for another one and where do you see the character going um, Seems like there could be a whole series I just now. want him to if the third one I want him to drive if we're going to be in for a car once. again for once. I'd like him to be driving the car. I'd like to be the man in the next one. So like to in the what? I'd like to be the man yeah. in the relationship yeah. on the next one. So Take we'll a little testosterone boost. Yeah. I look forward to it. All right. Thank you very much. See you, man. Appreciate it. Nice meeting you.